to Goodwill to see what I can find. I just went to another Goodwill and was really surprised by their prices. Um, they were actually charging like $4 for DVD, um, for DVDs. And most of the Goodwills that I've ever gone to, um, they've been like sometimes 99 cents or $2 max for DVDs. They don't ever charge uh, that much. So I'm gonna go and check this one out. I've been to this one like many times. So I'm pretty sure the ones there will be like $2 or something like that. The only reason I was looking is that my daughter, she, um, you know, she still watches DVDs or some stuff that sometimes we can't find. And so she likes to just, you know, kind of have that at her fingertips whenever she wants to grab a DVD and watch it. And I actually just bought her this, um, we can't really see it. But. So here is what I just got for her. It's a 13 inch uh, Toshiba TV with the DVD player. And I have bought these before and sold them. Uh, I think, you know, usually they sell for like, pretty good money, you know, over $100 just because they're kind of hard to find. You know, it's a flat screen. It's got the DVD player. Um, this one I bought for $20, which is a little bit high, but I knew that she really wanted one. And the last one that we had, I ended up selling it. She was using it. And so she was a little bit like, oh my gosh, mom, why did you sell it? So it's actually taking me a few months to find one. People sometimes think that these 13 inch TVs are just everywhere. Uh, especially ones with the DVD players or the ones that are the combo but sometimes it can take a while to find them you know in certain locations they might be there might be more uh, so this one you know 20 bucks uh, you know maybe when she gets older if she gets bored of it then I can resell it again I could probably resell it for like maybe a hundred and twenty something like that so anyways gonna go in the Goodwill and see what I can find I guess I was misspoken. Um, maybe I just haven't bought DVDs at Goodwill in a while, but I just went into this one. Uh, it was also $3.99, which I swear I remember them being cheaper, but I don't know, maybe I haven't bought them in a while. So anyways, I got this for my daughter, uh, Little Princess and The Secret Garden. So it's two movies in one. So you know, got a, got a little bit of a good deal. And then I always have, you know, your opinion matters, so got a little bit of a discount with that. So another interesting thing that I'm gonna be doing today, uh, I saw this posting on Let Go, and, oh great, there's a homeless guy here. Okay, I'm back. I had to stop that video because this homeless guy came up to my window and um, looked very strange and he wanted me to roll down my window and I was parked and I didn't want to do that. Um, this is actually like the second time that's happened in the last few weeks. The other, I was dropping off my daughter um, at her summer camp and I was parked and this homeless guy came up and started knocking on my window wanting me to roll down the window and I was like no I'm not gonna, I've got my daughter in here you're completely a stranger I'm not gonna roll down my window so you know kind of getting off topic but here in Austin it has like the homeless community um, has really you know there's a lot more than there was before and um, I don't you know I do want to kind of reach out to like my city council member and kind of see what type of outreach they're doing because I, it doesn't seem I, I've never seen any any outreach any people you know um, city employees or any programs that seem like they're helping them so uh, you know my daughter actually wants to make some like care packages with like food and water which I think is a great idea I have no problems with you know if I'm at a stoplight like giving that to somebody but it's just a little nerve-wracking when you're parked in a parking lot um, and you're by yourself and somebody comes and is like knocking on your window uh, that that can be a little bit nerve nerve-wracking so but obviously you know I do want to do good things for my community so I'll probably like try to reach out to my city council member and ask them what are they doing what programs do they have um, what you know maybe if I can help out with stuff but just do it in a safe manner where you're not getting yourself in a situation, you know, where you don't know this person and they want you to help them, but it's not the right time or the right situation. So, 
I got a little off topic, but anyway, so I saw this ad on OfferUp, and this guy is selling 24 DVD um, VHS combo players. He was selling them for $80. Um, I asked him if he would take uh, $80. He was selling them for $100. I asked him if he would take $80, and he said yes, he would take that offer. So I asked him if he had plugged any of them in, like what the, you know, if, if he knew anything about it, um, where he got them. And he said, no, I got them from a storage unit. So I don't know if like maybe he just buy storage units. And he's like, I haven't plugged them in. I'm just selling them as parts. So then my dad came into town and my dad has like a power pack where, you know, you can take that anywhere and it's got outlets. And um, so I was going to use a power pack and I told the guy, hey, meet me in the morning um, so that I have a power pack can I test some of them before I buy them and he was and he never responded so then he just responded a couple hours ago and now it's afternoon and my parents have already left and took the power pack um, and he's like okay you know sorry I didn't respond I was really busy but I can meet you you know wherever today or no I can meet you at any time today and he lives like really close to my house and so I um, I you know I haven't responded back I'm gonna I'm kind of putting myself, you know, a little bit uh, in a situation where I'm rolling the dice. Um, you know, I've sold VHS DVD for parts, and they still sell for parts. I mean, they're not going to sell for a lot, you know, 20, 20 bucks, maybe 15 bucks. It depends on what model it is. So you can make money on the parts. So worst case scenario, if all 24 of them are broken, then I could, you know, try to just sell them for, for parts on eBay to get my money back. So I am kind of rolling the dice, uh, but I just, I couldn't imagine 24 of them are all broken, but who knows, you know, you, you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and probably meet him and buy them um, and see, and I meet him in a public, public place, probably go with, you know, with, with my fiance or, or maybe even have him meet him. So, uh, I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna get 24 VHS DVD players, which I haven't gotten that many all at once. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know if any of if it, hopefully if some of them are working and I can get my money back. So, I think it's gonna work out, uh, but I'll let you know. Okay guys, so I made the deal. Um, the guy met me at Starbucks. He ended up only charging me $60 because I was told them I was gonna test them but then I told him oh no my my dad ended up leaving so I couldn't test him so then he was like oh man okay well since you can't test them and you're kind of like you know iffy putting yourself out there if they work or not then um, just give me $60 and I was like okay that's fine um, so he ended up he's a reseller he resells on eBay but he sells clothing and he's like I can barely I barely know how to plug in my TV or you know deal with any electronics so there, none of them are tested I know nothing about them and I was like great that's fine um, you know even if one works I can get my money back especially just paying $60 for 24 um, DVD VHS combo players so let me show you them so yeah so that's that one got toppled over but that's all of them in here um a lot of them are magnavox and sony's which i know for a fact that those ones sell really well no remote controls but that's all right i'll i'll you know i've got some extra remote controls so i might have some that will match up so those are my 24 um oh yeah that one right there is a sony so those are my 24 vhs dvd combos so i'll let you know how it goes once i start testing everything we're at the bright side of ebay uh, so an update um so what i've spoken about just a little bit about um my VHS DVD recorders that I bought 24 so I've recently been testing them and so here is one of the ones I got it's a Magnavox um, this one is the M MWD 2206 so this one is working so I've been kind of putting little labels on them if they're working um, but I have tested about three other ones that are not working. 
Fortunately, I think I can sell some of them for parts. So I ended up paying $60 for the 24 um, DVD VHS combos. And we'll see how much I can get from them. Um, it's the first time I've bought that many. But, um, you know, it's been a process with getting those all tested um, here. And, you know, sometimes when you're testing them, you're like, oh, okay, you know, ooh, this is a really good one. So, for example, uh, this one right here is a Sony, and on eBay it sells pretty well, but of course this one's not working. So there have been quite a few. Like I said, I'm still not done testing, but we'll see what pans out, and we'll see you know what I can get with my $60 that I spent for those 24 DVD VHS combos. Here is another kind of issue, return issue that I had. This Tascam... <sighs> I've shown it before, but it's very cool um, electronic that goes, records DVD, or sorry, CD to cassette, and it can also record cassette to CD. So, very cool electronic, um, but unfortunately, I sold it for $322, sent it off to the girl, and I had already just recently transferred some of my music, because my brother came into town, he had some stuff on cassette, we changed it to CD, everything was working. Then I shipped it off to the girl, and she messaged me and says, hey, I'm sorry, but it's not working, the cassette tapes won't play. So I'm like, great, oh man, I have to take the return. And this thing is super heavy. So I had to pay the return shipping, which ended up being like $25, Plus, going there was a little bit cheaper because eBay, the way they do their return postage, sometimes they do it like an expedited um, option, which I did not send it that way. So it was $20 to send it there, $25 to get it back, so $45. I spent $75 on it. So, you know, now I'm in for, you know, like 100 I can't even calculate. Anyways, um, obviously like $150 now. Uh, and I tested it out and the cassette belts do seem like there's an issue with them so I am actually going to try to change the belts myself uh, I do I've never done that before I have another cassette um, player that also has is, has issues and I think it's the belt so I'm gonna test I'm gonna do some experimenting on that one and then try to see if I can change the belts on this one and if I'm successful then I can resell it uh, and hopefully still get in that $300 range. And so, so that's what happens sometimes you sell stuff. And then especially, you know, if it's electronics, I know a lot of people don't want to get into electronics because they are very heavy. And if you get a return, you are going to have to pay a significant amount um, for the return if it's something that's faulty and that's, you know, not the buyer's fault. This is probably... Um, there's been a few other times where I've had issues with electronics, but it was because of shipping, where they got damaged in shipping, so I was able to get money back from like FedEx. So this is one of the first times, maybe there's been a couple other times where it's been like faulty electronics, and those other times it was just like the electronics weren't, you know, there were things that I could just be like, you know what, don't even send it back if it's having an issue. But this electronics is a very specialized one, so I really wanted it back. Gonna try to see if I can repair it. You wish, wish me luck, and uh, I'll let you know how changing the belt goes. Um, so I guess that's all I have for um, this. And if you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe. I'll try to put out some more new material soon, and uh, we'll see you soon.